and welcome back to yet another episode of More Sewing with Michelle. Today we're talking about thimbles and I've got three different types to share with you and I'll explain why I picked these ones. They're kind of unique. They've got different attributes to help you whenever you need a thimble. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of thimbles too. So we've got three of these here today. I can't wait to share with you why I love these particular thimbles and let's get going on today's More Sewing with Michelle. So I want to break down each of the different thimbles, why I think they're amazing and why I think you need them in your arsenal of notions. So the first one I want to talk about is the Roxette thimble. Now this one, we have three different sizes. We have small, medium, and large. They come in these handy dandy little containers so that you can keep them safe. And they are colored differently. You can see that they have the nice little spots like a traditional thimble, but wait, it's got something really cool. And I know I'm not the only one that has been frustrated and have problems using my thimbles, the traditional ones, um, for years. Now, right now, my nails aren't that nice and wonderful. Um, mine are natural nails, and sometimes they grow really long, and sometimes right now they're a little bit short. But this thimble has an opening. See that back area? So you can stick your finger in, and your nail will not be affected. I love that. This is something I've been looking for for years because oftentimes when my nails are a little bit longer, I'll go to put my thimble on and it doesn't stick right. It falls off. So this is genius to me. I love these thimbles. Now, as you can see on my finger here, I've got that space open. It's meant to be very snug on my finger so it's not falling off, you can see. Um, and then you use it just to push through, and I'll go over how to use thimbles a little bit later, but oh my gosh, this thing is the best. I love the Roxette thimble. So my next thimble actually is more than one. It's a set by the Gypsy Quilter. Now let me take one of them out and I'll show you. You can see they're stacked into each other here. So I've got three. I'm going to put one of them just on my pointer, hold it up real close, so you can see that it's purple, always a good thing in my book, and it's got these little grippy things on it, so that's a huge clue as far as what it's used for. Now these um, little thimbles, we'll just put some on my fingers so you can see, they're actually heat resistant. How many of you have been doing applique and maybe you're trying to iron something really close and fine? Um, oftentimes I have this when I'm doing sewing my wool um, together to make certain things with applique. Um, oh, like the quilt in back of me, um, the Wendy Williams. This is this quilt is called Around the Garden, and some of those when I was getting them on and ironing, it got real close, and I burnt the tips of my fingers a few times when I was using my little iron. But these things will protect you. They're actually thermal, and they're my, to protect yourself from heat. So the way that you use them is, one of them goes on your thumb, like so, and they're made to be really tight, kind of like a glove. And then the next one goes on your middle finger, which would be the next size. And then you're gonna put one on your pointer finger. And just like that, I've got them attached. So now that they're attached, I can use them with my iron to get real close and I don't have that worry anymore that the iron might burn the tips of my fingers. Isn't that neat? I love that about them. So perfect for that and that's, that alone is enough reason to bring them in as far as my thimbles. But wait, so you're going through a lot of thick fabric. Say you're showing, sewing leather together or maybe multiple layers of something that's really thick and, um, and maybe it has adhesive on it, I could go on and on and on. The reasons why I think these are gonna be cool for something else. 
So oftentimes, um, I can't tell you how many ki times my kids would blow a button on their pants or something. I've got to re-sew that button on, but the, the fibers have been, you know, messed up. So I'd have to kind of reconstruct that area, add the button, and oftentimes I will use an adhesive in there. And then when you try to put a needle through it later, it can be problematic. So you can push on one side, use your thimble, but wait, how many times have you been pushing, your needle gets kind of stuck in the middle and it's not really going anywhere? Well, use these for a grip to pull that needle through the other side. Now, I used to run to my kitchen, dig through this one drawer to find this little itty bitty strip of like a gripper type material. But now with these thimbles, I can use them to grip and they'll always be in my sewing room. Isn't that neat? Another thing that I think that these, ne these needles here would be awesome for is for fabric control. Now, when I do my free motion, I like to be able to grip my fabric and have complete control. It's the way I feel comfortable when I do my free motion. I've tried the gloves, I've tried the grippy thingies, but these things will be able to allow me to still grip things comfortably, but still have the flexibility. Um, so I'm gonna try them with my free motion. And I have, a, I have an idea that I'm gonna come up with lots of different usages for these wonderful, the Gypsy Quilter heat resistant thimbles. I love them. So applique, um, pulling needles, um, you can use them as a traditional too to kind of protect the tips of your needles. Your fingers, excuse me. <laughs> so many things you can do with them. These are the Gypsy Quilter heat resistant thimbles and they come all three of them in one package. Okay, so the last um, thimble that I have for you is actually a set of five. It's a little bit different but five completely different types of thimbles. It comes from the Thimble Pack Plus from the Colonial Needle Company. And I've got them all on my fingers here. So you can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, um, five different types of thimbles for different type of usages. And I love that we have multiple things in the same package. Now, these thimbles are a little bit different because they actually attach to your fingertips. So, I want you to be aware that um, we have the instructions and they will list on the packaging exactly what each thimble is made to do. So the first one we have is the crown thimble and that's the traditional thimble that we have come to know and love. So you can see it's got the dimples on it to help with pushing things through. Now this one, um, it's a little bit different, difficult to get that adhesive off to make it double-sided. So now I have it off but it's reusable and you can see you can put it back on. Nothing's fallen off on any of these. So that's cool. So reusable, you're gonna save that one in its little container, which has all the different um, bits and parts for you to use. So the next one is called the dimple, the thimble dimple. And it is on my finger there. And you can see that on the center of that, it doesn't have any of the dimples, it's just one big area to push things through. So those two are my two metal tipped ones. And like I said, they are reusable. They do have um, extra sticky adhesives. And like I said, it took me a little bit to get the adhesive backing off, but once you got it off, you're good to go. And then we have a leather one. Now the leather one is called the thimble pad. And that is on my finger there. You'll see that it's nice brown leather. So that one is gonna give you a little bit more protection um, if you can't use the metal to push, but you wanted more of a soft push, um, also to protect your finger from fatigue. So this is the thimble pad and it's made of leather for heavy duty pushing. And then we have the needle grip. Now the needle grip is on my thumb here. And it's almost clear once you get it off of its backing. And that one um, you will use, it's kind of a one-time deal, but it gives you a little bit more protection on the tip of your fingers whenever you're doing needlework. And then the last one is called the Thimblet, and it's on my pinky there, and you'll see that that one is oval. Now, it has um, a large area which will protect your fingers. Now, I know oftentimes when I'm hand sewing, I have this area, of my middle finger that I get where it rubs from me pulling things. 
So I would actually use that probably on my middle finger on the side so that when it helps um, for that area that I have, you know, oftentimes where I have things where it's hard to pull and it's more problematic there. So those are the five that we have from the thimble pack. And like I said, there's multiples of each of these in the package. You get 12 of the leather, you get 12 of the thimble grips, um, and you get multiple adhesives for the crown and the dimple. So those are the five um, types of thimbles that come in this package for the Thimble Pack Plus. So I'm sure you know what to do by now. If you're going to pick up any and all of these fabulous thimbles, you're going to go to moors-so.com or click on the link in the description where you can get the Roxette thimble, you can get the heat resistant thimbles, or you can get the thimble packs. Any and all of them are my recommendations. And don't forget, mores-so.com. Pick yours up today. Oh, hey, so are you a digitabulist? In other words, do you collect thimbles? So that's a little bit of history. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of digitabulists out there. For many, many years, it was um, a good gift for any young lady to receive thimbles. And I know that um, my grandmother collected them, and I know a lot of people out there do collect them. Um, oftentimes when you go traveling, you'll see thimbles too um, for sale. So anyways, digitabulist, <laughs> collect those thimbles. So, I was gonna give a real brief description. So this is my Roxette thimble on how you use thimbles. So basically you're gonna use them to push and pull your fabric. So, I mean your needle. So these digits are gonna simply push that through so that you can push through thick and hard to sew items without a hitch. And on this, I'm just sewing a little bit of my wool fault onto a piece of fabric that I'll use to make a little pillow or a little accent. So that's how you go ahead and use your thimbles. Now, the definition of a thimble is basically a protective shield on your finger when you're sewing. And thimbles date back to the 10th century. So they've been around a long, long time. Now I've got a bunch of pictures here of different thimbles that I thought would be fun to share. Now thimbles have been made with so many different types of material. I think pretty much so anything that um, people could get their hands on, they were trying to make some sort of little protective um, thimble to protect their hand when they're sewing. And it goes back, like I said, to the 10th century. So we have wood, we have porcelain, we have metals, we have rubber, um, glass, um, china, mother of pearl shells, um, horn, whalebone, what else was there? Um, marble, china, um, they have even made thimbles out of diamonds, pearls, and sapphires. So lots of different materials that a thimble has been made out of. I think probably the best one um, that we use the most of is the metal, and that's the one that um, it's most known for. Now thimbles, like I said, were a great gift for ladies, but beware. If you were an unwed lady and you received three different thimbles as gift, it was definitely a superstition that that meant that you would not marry in your life. So once again, that was just a superstition. And um, in the 18th century, it became very fashionable to collect them, like I said. And that's probably when the digitabilist <laughs> started. But... Um, they were marketed even for cultural events um, through England, um, you know, coronations and stuff like that. They would have special thimbles and they've been very decorative over the years. So here's a line of pictures and look at these thimbles, all the different types that we have. So you can see that we have some whalebone, we have wood ones. Um, I like the wood one because it's got the stripes on it. Um, we have some china one and you can see the the way that they have grown and changed over the years and they still are because keep in mind i've got my one on here 
today from Roxette that will allow for fingernails. But um, the basic ones that started, like the crown types, they were just kind of rudimentary tips to protect yourself. And then they became very fancy, very ornate. And needless to say, they are such a protective for our finger and such a necessity for when you're hand sewing. I love them. And like I said, I use them when I'm doing other specific things like putting button on and, you know, also different types of reasons that I will use my thimble. But over the years, thimbles have become very popular um, for um, a need that we made for our fingers. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been sewing something and I've got to push that needle through and it can be can really much though fatigue your finger and pushing it puts um, um, fatigue on the muscles and the ligaments. So having something that's hard to allow you to push that needle through is definitely beneficial for all of us when we hand sew. So that is a little bit of information on thimbles. I bet you have never heard of thimble knocking. Now thimble knocking used to happen in schools um, by the head mistress and if you were a child that wasn't behaving if you were unruly if you couldn't focus you might get your mistress your school mistress to tap you on the head with a thimble to get your attention to redirect yourself so that you can stay on tack and that was called thimble knocking now there's another type of thimble knocking out there and that thimble knocking was done by certain women that would go up to a window and go tap, tap, tap with their thimble. And that's how they tried to get the attention of the men inside. So two different things, thimble knocking. It was a thing. I'm pretty sure it doesn't happen nowadays, but such interesting facts on thimbles. So are you ready to become a digitabolist? Are you ready to collect some really cool new thimbles for your collection? I hope you are. Um, I know that I really enjoyed looking into these, finding thimbles that were unique, that were more modern, that were gonna be more useful for us when we sew in the, you know, where we are in the world now. So anyways, keep in mind that we have the Gypsy Quilters set of three which are heat resistant and they work together. You can use them to help grip things, pulling needles, lots of usages for these three from the Gypsy Quilter. We have rock sets and this is um, three different sizes that we have, small, medium, and large. And once again, this thimble is perfect because if you have fingernails, you can use this thimble. I absolutely love that. And then we have the Colonial Needle Company's Thimble Pack, which has five different types of thimbles to help you with sewing. So these are some great thimbles to add to your collection. Keep in mind, if you're a hand sewer, we still have some of that Eleganza thread that I so love that you can pick up too. So thank you once again for joining me on More Sewing with Michelle. I look forward to seeing you next week and I hope you have a fabulous week sewing. Take care, everyone.